So today I thought I'd give you a few ideas on how to get your house ready for the market so when the time comes, you can get that house sold quickly. Hi, my name is Al Polo and I'm a real estate agent. And today I thought I'd give you a few tips on how to get your house ready to put on the market. I'd also like to point out that for more tips that are going to help you with that process, watch my other videos in this playlist as well. The first thing that needs to be done when you're getting ready to list your house is to go through the house. Do a deep cleaning and to declutter. You know, all those things that have made your house your home for so many years could be a little distracting to the average buyer and they can't really envision themselves living in the home. So get through there and declutter. Um, the other thing that happens when you do that is it makes the house look a little bit more spacious, a little bit more open and a little brighter. So an important thing is to get the exterior house and the yard ready because we want the best possible curb appeal that we can get. You can go around and do some weeding if it needs to be done, make sure the lawn is mowed. These are little things that can make a big, big difference. Go around the house and see if it needs anything, like maybe more or less shrubs or decorate the house a little more. I always like to put black bark in all the flower beds. I think it makes all the plants pop and it makes it really look great. Do you have time to repaint the whole house? I don't know about that, but if there's areas where there's peeling paint or if the paint is faded, what you may want to do is get some paint chips and get it matched, touch it up, and it'll make everything look better. And the curb appeal is so important to buyers because they drive up to your house and just want to have the house look inviting to them. So when you think you have the house looking good, you may want to have some neutral third party. And I hesitate because it could be a neighbor or a friend or have them come in and tell you what they think and see if there's anything else that should be done. In one instance for a, a couple of years ago when I thought we were done, I invited a staging company to come in. Now I didn't have her come in and redo the whole house. I had her come in as a consultant and talk to me about how to better place the furniture and the other pieces to better showcase the house for the average buyer coming through the house. And I can tell you that can make a really big difference. And that consultation is really not that expensive. It's also so important to have the proper lighting in your house. Many of my listings, they have the older bulbs and when they come into the house, it looks kind of yellow and dingy. I, a good thing to brighten up the house is I used to have my clients get LED lights and replace all those older bulbs. Simply doing that can make a huge difference on the brightness of your house. And when you get finished with some of the lighting, then you also want to take a look at a couple of things that you need to have done before you put the house on the market. And one of those things is to make sure is things like the furnace has, uh, has it been serviced, the water heater in your basement, is it strapped properly? And the other thing that, that, that makes, that, that's really important just to make sure all those smoke alarms are in the right place and in working order. The carbon monoxide uh, monitors, they need to be outside your bedrooms, in the hallways, on every floor of your house. These are the type of things that could slow down the sale if not checked early on. So the last thing that I want to talk to you about are three main issues that always seem to come up when getting your house ready to put on the market. And those are the home inspections, pest inspections, roof inspections. Those are the three main issues that I see all, that always seem to come up. The buyers will typically have a scheduled home inspection within 10 days of an accepted offer. But I sometimes like to have my seller do their own home inspection because I don't like to have any surprises. Surprises that come up during the process is what usually ends a transaction. If you can eliminate all the surprises in the transaction ahead of time, then the sale goes smoothly and you can get that house sold quickly. The other thing that it does for you is it, it takes away that stress and surprise of having to repair any issues that come up during the buyer's home inspection. And the best thing about doing it ahead of time is that you'll open up your house to more buyers because it opens it up to VA or FHA or the conventional buyer. And when you do that, more offers come in and when more offers come in, you can get your home sold for over asking price. It's not a requirement to get all these things done up front, but for peace of mind, you can maybe do just a pest inspection or just do a home inspection. It's really up to you, but the more you do before you get it on the market, the better your chances are of getting it sold for the most money with no surprises. Thank you so much for watching my video. Again, my name is Al Rapolo, and if you like what you had to see here today, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that I'm here to help you sell your home.